Are you ready for some Procreate fun? Well, let's jump in! Hi and welcome to my YouTube series. My name is Brenda Bakker and I'm from the Netherlands. I'm currently working on the alphabet based on the book Alphabet Brush Lettering for Everybody by the Dutch Carla Kampuis. For today's letter I'm uh, at the X and uh, for the X I will be using uh, the brush set, uh, the gouache set by Lisa Glantz also on her canvas because they will uh, match well together and I think they belong together. And it's not hard, it's fun, and you can use any brush you like, but for me, I'm working on the set with Lisa Glantz. So, I hope you enjoy this one, and let's get started! So, for today, I wanted to um, work with the new gouache brushes, uh, brushes by Lisa Glantz. I like them a lot, but I'm not very known to them, so it will be a little bit tricky for me also. But I like the lovely textures they've got. And you get them from the brushes, and I also want to show you this one, uh, which I made last uh, yesterday, yesterday, the day before. And I think this was very funny. This was from a tutorial actually by Lisa Glantz, but I liked it. And I like to try the style for today's uh, letter, like we done in the trees. So let's get over and do that. So I'll be working on a canvas, uh, which comes by the. Uh, by the brush sets because I think that's uh, necessary to get the right effect uh, with the use of the brushes. So I'm again going to my messy brush pen for creating the letter X and the X is a very hard letter for me to letter. I don't letter, uh, I don't letter in often but um, yeah I think it's a very awkward letter but I think Carla already has uh, like, well, maybe 60, 70 uh, X's in the book. And for me, I want to choose one, but I also uh, need space to do the, uh, the gouache that I like. So I'm going to choose for a rather simple one out of the <laughs> lot of brushes she has. And that's with a thicker uh, downstroke, of course, because I'm using my brush pen for it. And I'm going to create uh, um, a very... Oh, I have to be on a layer first. <laughs> uh, I have to make a very thick downstroke, uh, slanted. So I think that could be bigger. My canvas is a lot bigger. So I have to make my brush... Oh, it's already uh, at maximum size. So I'm going to double it. Like so. Just duplicate it and move it. And for that I'm going to uniform and snap. So I keep at the same height. But make it thicker. And I think I do that again. To create even thicker. Yes, this is one I like. So now I'm going to create a line on top of it. And a line here. As well and then let me check we have a corner and slanted and an up oh, maybe it's a downstroke here with a curl so thick thin like so I think I've done it correctly no I have to be more to the left I see I'm going to uh, <laughs> take a peek at the book uh, right now uh, so I can can I do that with liquify or do I have to do that with a two finger undo tip? Let me see. So my oh, I think I can manage. Yay! I think it looks nice now like this. Is it approximately in the center? Looking oh yes, this has to be on the same layer of course so I smudge them together and now I've got my golden cross in snapping so I'm exactly in the middle and let's create something on top so we're going to select this layer create a new layer on top and then deselect this one uh, sorry make the pixels invisible but you can still see the shape so we're going to work on a new layer and we're going to use some lovely colors. Um, 
I did the tree, right? So let's go to a treeish kind of color. Let's go to green. Lovely green, not too dark because we're going to make it darker. And let's go to Lisa's brush set. Where is she? Uh, the gouache set. I like it very lot, uh, very much. It's the round, smooth, semi-wet I'm going to use. You're welcome to use other brushes. I'm only going to show you how I do this. So I color it all the way. When I go over it once, it's just a simple color. But I want to go over it twice. Now I didn't uh, left my uh, pencil, now I did. And then you see, because it's a watercolory, it has uh, some oh, um, multiply issues. So let's do this again. And just every now and then just lift it. So it looks like it's truly painted. And there is where your texture is going to happen. And that's what I like about this set. You can actually see the strokes like you, uh, where you've lifted your pencil and created some lovely lines with it. So that's where the texture comes from. Yes, and now I'm going to create a new layer on top of that. I put it on overlay, um, sorry, overlay. And I choose black and black will darken my color. And I'm going to use uh, the large dry brush, which is in opacity uh, for me very low. And I'm going to make a shadow on the down left corner. So very slightly, because they are very pr uh, pressure sensitive. I'm going to create some shadow here. And also on this side. And we could, uh, can do that also with the, the lighter version on the top, uh, top sides and, uh, and the right sides. So let's go to a white or a lighter green and let's create a smooth section on top. And what I like most about this is it get, uh, gets a kind of uh, children's book illustration effects. Um, that's what I'm aiming for here. That would be a big dream of me also to create once. But I'm not good enough yet. <laughs> Hoping to get there someday. We all, a girl's got a dream, right? But this is what I like uh, about this set very much. So you see the texture, it's lovely. I think it's a little bit too dark here, so I'm going to use the same brush. So tap and hold. Also change the opacity a bit. I'm going to erase a little bit because it was too hard for me. Mm, now perhaps I could use a little more, but that's okay. It must feel right. It didn't feel right. So I think this one is almost finished. And what I like to do now is uh, go on top of this one and create some fun um, kind of uh, artistically uh, go to the rough paint and choose white. I'm going to check my size now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the selection because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to just roughly, randomly paint some lovely dots on the thick parts. And 
it's hard to keep random <laughs> and I think this looks lovely going to get rid of a little bit down here and for that I'm going to erase at the the bottom part let me see the green and uh, I want to keep the same texture so I have to go back to my same brush for erasing and that was my messy brush pen where do I have it I have it in a lot of class classes so let's go to my sketchy doodles I have way too many brush brushes messy brush pen yes here it is So I think this looks lovely and um, maybe we can play some more. Let me see if I like that. Go to a new layer on top of that. So I could erase it if I don't like it. Go back to uh, the smudgy rough paint. Well, it's our own imagination, right? We can do this how we like it. Yes, I think it looks more cheerful and I love cheerful. So I hope you like this one as well. This was with the use of uh, the Lisa Glantz new gouache set and I, I'm very falling in love with it. I've only made four paintings with it right now, but yeah, I think this one is a keeper for me. So I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this episode until the very end. If you like this video and think I've earned it, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. More detailed tutorials can be found on Skillshare. These and all other links can be found in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!